Hey guys, I'm Kristen. And I'm Sawyer. And welcome to The Broadcaster. Hi VHS, I'm Verde Alexander and this morning we're going to be talking to you about the schedule of the White Squirrel Fest. On Friday there's an open gallery walk and at 5.30 live music starts. On Saturday at 8 a.m. there's a fun run with a 10k and a 5k. The festival starts at 9 a.m. and the parade also starts at 9 a.m. On Sunday the festival starts at noon and ends at 6. <laughs> Club's plans over fun day with our friend Sam. And stay tuned for a review of the mystery of Edwin Drew with Georgia and Abigail. What is the PE department doing for fun day? The PE department is going to have a staff versus students kickball game on the field. So how is student council um, playing a part in fun day? Student council is really kind of hoping to just put everything to use, but student council is going to be doing egg toss and balloon toss and fun stuff like that. So. What does FCA plan on doing for fun day? Well, FCA plans on running the uh, yard games uh, portion of fun day, where we will have things like spike ball, uh, outdoor volleyball, badminton, and maybe some cornhole games going on all afternoon. Today we're reviewing a school musical. The Mystery of Edmund Drood. It's based off of Charles Darwin's unfinished mystery that he sadly died while writing. The play was overall very good with only a few confusing portions. A few of the characters seem a little out of place, but overall everyone seemed to know their lines very well. And I believe the director did a fantastic job. Um, flawless, Miss Virgil. It was overall executed very well. A lot of the actors performed very well. Um, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And here's Cody and Giselle talking to seniors about their legacy for Man on the Street. Hi, today me and Cody interviewed some seniors about their legacy they want to leave behind for the lower class men. Hey, I'm Sabra Freeman, and what I really want to leave behind most here as my legacy is, uh, safe space people feel like they can express themselves and find who they are essentially i'm sadie tinch i'm a senior and um there's not really anything i want to leave behind i kind of just want to leave hey it's clint just forget people that you can do what you want dog you don't gotta listen to these people they're not really in charge of you just because they say they are doesn't mean they are dog uh, it's Caitlin. I just want to let y'all know, just like, don't suck, do your homework, show up on school on time, and don't drool in school. Next is sports with Emma and Sawyer. That's gone. Four. What's up, BHS? I'm Sawyer Smith. And I'm Emma Wright. Track will be competing at State on Friday. Good luck, Blue Devils. Softball and baseball have both wrapped up their season. Thank you, seniors, for all your hard work. This week, we caught up with Don Callaway to talk about his plans after high school. Will you be attending college to play baseball? Yeah, I'm verbally committed to Surrey Community College. What will you miss most about playing baseball at Rutt High School? I miss the fun environment and playing the greatest sport of all time with my friends. Thank you, Don. We'll see you next week. Time to have coffee with the McCalls for another food review. Just, Just for, for you. you. So we went to Cup and Saucer. It's a coffee shop in town. And now I'm gonna try it. It's pretty good. I got, you know, the typical iced vanilla latte. I'm all messy like that. Very delicious. We also got, we got carrot cake. Oh, it actually looks really good. And a peanut butter cookie. Hey, 
this is my piece that I got. <laughs> Very delicious. <laughs> Very tasty. Okay, so now we're gonna try this cookie. It's a peanut butter cookie, right? Yeah. I think this is like the best cookie I've ever had. I get the taste five McCall stars. I get the taste five McCall stars. I think the cost of everything was pretty pricey. I mean, the cookie itself was was already two fifty. My mm -hmm. latte by itself was like five dollars. Mm -hmm. So on to location. Um, I thought it was pretty nice. It was downtown. They had a nice, you know, sign hanging up. Uh, I literally got there at like seven fifty, and I got to school on time. For location, I definitely give that five McCall stars. So on to the service. I give the service four McCall stars. Employees treat us really well. The reason why I only give it four is because of the price. It was very pricey. I'd also give it four because of the same reason. And she gave me this little, um, a little punch card. And so, like, if I get a certain amount of, like, coffees there, then I get a free one. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm a little hurt because I didn't get one. <laughs> I don't know why. And now... Pop Culture with Cassie and Cassandra. I think it's kind of messed up uh, with the investors pulling out and all of that. It's kind of not fair to those who are looking forward to it and especially performers. Probably not. I think the whole business will scare other people off and make them not want to become involved with the situation. I think they're going to try and make it work. Maybe Audible. I mean, everyone's sponsored by Audible. I think that shows that those investors are trying to hide something and that something's wrong and they probably shouldn't take the opportunity. No, I, I think it's pretty messed up. I think a lot of people were looking forward to it, especially performers. Um, I don't think it was their right to do that because um, it was their fault in the beginning. 